Have you held the hand of an old friend when you know it's near the end and the tears come fast? Memories are all that fill your head, tears mixed with dread, longing for the past. In Valhalla, she will wait. Valhalla is a very, very special song to me and. Um, it took me a long time to give that trust over to the band with this song because um, it's it's really quite personal and um, it's a song I wrote for a friend of mine, Tony, who passed away from cancer um, a few years ago and um, Tony was a, a really brilliant, shining star of a human and uh, she was full of life and full of vitality and she had this uh, cracking smile that would just light up her whole face and um, and she was very cheeky and just very full of life and um, and so you know when she passed it was kind of she'd come to terms with that fact and her partner had to and um, she used to say to her partner I'll see you in Valhalla I'll wait for you in Valhalla and um, Valhalla is like the old Norse sort of mythic great hall, I guess a kind of heaven where fallen warriors would 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 go um, if they were chosen by Odin. And um, I think it's quite fitting for Tony to say that because they didn't really, it wasn't tradition for females to go to Valhalla, it was more for male um, fallen warriors. Um, but Tony was quite the warrior herself, to be honest. So um, it's quite fitting that she's waiting for her love in Valhalla. And um, again, it was one of those songs that just came to me. Um, I was just, the melody came to me. And it wasn't really, sometimes you don't really know what you're writing the song about. You just start um, writing and it just comes out. And this song just, um, was one of those luckily I <laughs> didn't have to sort of pressure myself into it too much but um it was more difficult to find the guitar part to put to it at the at the beginning when I wrote it because you know I wrote it as a solo song and um and so I was hoping to perform it solo with me and my guitar um so yeah the lyrics came quite naturally and um just flowed out. I didn't really realise it was about Tony until um, until I was sort of halfway through. And when I started writing um, the chorus, uh, I think that was really just a um, a sort of almost a way to honour her, of saying, "Come on, guys, put down your paper, turn off the telly. I'll show you something that's real that will make you feel something, you know. And that's that human connection. That's real. That's what life is about." And um, uh, that's what I wanted to convey in the song. I didn't want it to be like a, a morning song or, um, you know, anything too sad. I wanted it to be a song of, of hope and almost like a wake up call to turn your screens off and put down things and realise what's right in front of your eyes and how beautiful it is. So I hope that comes across in the song. Uh, I was quite surprised at the melody itself for me um, because I don't think I've ever written anything that kind of uh fluid if you know what i mean um so it came from a different place i think and i was really really protective over the song for a long time because um i didn't want any of it to change um i think probably because i wanted to honor tony in that way um i thought that if i gave the feeling of that song away to the boys in the band um, it would somehow dilute it a little bit and I was a bit worried about it not having the same meaning that I wanted it to have um, and I was sort of umming and ahhing with it a little bit and, and Phil was like come on Tam like you know we, we really like that song and I was like oh I don't know um, and it was actually my partner in the end that said look why don't you just try it with the band and see what they add to it and if you don't like it you can just say um, you can just say you don't want it to be a band song so so I did that we took it to rehearsal um, while we were sort of getting ready for to record the album Petrichor and 
and um, we were all in a room together and I started just playing it and um, and the boys started putting these harmonies on and whew, it suddenly just sounded almost cool like like we were in a church. Have you seen the clearing in the wood where the sycamore once stood in its golden glow? Have you seen the speckles on the ground where the fires burned down? And you know there were quite a few tears in rehearsal and in recording as well. Um, in fact, the recording on the album, um, towards the end, I, I uh, am really holding the tears back. And me and Phil had quite a few hugs in the studio while, while we were recording the vocal parts for that. It was actually Phil's idea. I said to the boys, I don't want any changes. If it's going to be a band song, you have to respect my wishes and I don't want the song to change in any way. Um, so, you know, Jamie offered a few lyric suggestions and I said, oh, thanks, but no thanks, I don't want it to change any of the feeling of the song because it's come right from from somewhere else and um phil said you know what Tam? look can we just could we just try it a cappella? just just let me just try it and if it doesn't work we can put the guitar back in that's no problem and i thought okay we'll give it a go and i listened to two recordings one with the guitar part in and one with um just a cappella. and yeah the a cappella one just really stood out and just um i hope it's a bit of a i wanted it to be really like a, a punch um uh to people to go whoa okay yeah we need to we need to live <laughs> um and enjoy this life and um we were sort of we it was just before the album was was finalized and i said you know what we were listening to all the sort of mixed tracks and i thought you know what, maybe it needs some kind of like warrior drum on it. Um, and I said to Phil, maybe like a um, a really deep, booming, like warrior beat just throughout the song would be really lovely. Um, just to continue that sort of Norse theme um, and continue that kind of almost like a death march, um, but with this hopeful melody going over the top. So um, yeah, Phil put that in and yeah, I'm really pleased he did. In Valhalla, she will wait. In Valhalla, she will wait. And I think it adds this, uh, a bit of intensity to the shows, to the live shows. Because, um, you know, we're quite, when we play live, we joke around quite a lot and laugh a lot. And, and um, so sometimes it needs like a little bit, just a little edge of, um, of kind of seriousness or, or intensity just to um, just to deepen the mood slightly. And I hope that that song does that. Have you drunk from water way up high when it's falling from the sky and it's oh so fresh? Have you heard the birds singing outside so beautifully in time that it takes your breath? We're not done for yet. We're not done for yet. If you haven't listened to our album yet, please do go on to Spotify or um, Amazon or whatever you fancy and, uh, and stream our album. Or you can buy a CD on Bandcamp. Thank you. In Valhalla, she will wait. She